This is a tutorial about the pipe data form in Thermo Bible Simulator. When we click on the pipe data form, we get the following screen. The pipe data form is used to enter the seven description of the pipes of the well ball. Each pipe will consist of several segments corresponding to the seven numbers with which the well bore trajectory was subdivided. Up to five pipes may be defined. An outer pipe must be defined before an inner pipe can be defined that refers to it, that's inside it. Thus, the casing liner pipe must be pipe one. It must be defined first, and then following that, all other inner pipes must be defined for that well configuration. The current the current pipe number is shown here, and you can change the pipe number by using the spin button or by clicking on the required pipe number in this list box. In this tutorial, we will enter pipe 7 data for a well bore configuration consisting of a casing liner with two inner parallel tubings, a short tubing string and a long tubing string. The pipe diameters and MD of the pipes are shown here. We assume that the well trajectory has been subdivided previously in the trajectory form into 151 meters, 151 segments of 10 meters long each. For the first pipe, if we click on the first pipe, the pipe name, we will enter pipe name of a casing and there's no space allowed in the name, so we underscore liner. And for the outer pipe 1, we have to define a range of segments. It would it be in this case two segment ranges. One segment range for the production casing and a second segment range for the slotted liner. So in the first segment range, we will enter from segment number 1 to segment number 71 and we will enter a segment type. The segment type, according to this help box here, must be either a 0 for a normal pipe segment or enter minus 1 for a normal pipe segment but plugged, which is no flow between the segment and the next segment. If there's a pump, you have to enter a pump curve table number. In this case, it would enter 0 for a normal pipe segment. We would get the OD, this is the mm, so we need to enter that in meters. We would enter 0.2984 for the pipe OD and the pipe ID we 0.272. In the other tutorial, we will go through the various uh, columns here, but for this tutorial, we will complete it and say that we need to enter these next two columns, dx, dy. This dx, dy are the dimensions of the reservoir cubes surrounding this well bore, and we have a option to specify how big a cube you want to simulate the productivity index of this uh, segment. So for every segment, we're going to compute a productivity index that flows from the reservoir to or out of the well bore pipe. And this gives an estimate of the productivity index of the segment. For a sec D well, we could for example, use 5 meters for the grid DX size or 5 meters for grid device size as an example. For the next uh, range of pipes, range of segments, it would be from 772 to 151 for the slotted liner. Again, it will be a segment pipe 0 with a pipe or D of 0.2191 and the pipe ID of 0.196.
we could choose to use the same dx dy for the reservoir cube that surrounds this well ball. And this would be the definition for now of the outer pipe. For the second pipe, the short tubing pipe, the short tubing pipe goes from the top of the well to about segment number 65, the segments are 10 meters long, so it goes from 1 to 65, you should enter a name, the name is say the short tubing, short underscore tubing as no spaces are allowed, and we would enter a segment type of again zero for normal segment pipe with a pipe OD of 0 0.089 and ID of 0 0.076 we can uh, skip this data columns for data for now but we have to enter the uh, outer pipe number which this inner pipe short tubing is located in and this will be inside pipe number one the casing liner pipe we should also specify whether the first segment is up on the floor or the last segment is up on the floor in this case it is the last segment that is open to floor to the outer pipe so we check on that box The third pipe would be the long tubing pipe. We can specify the name long tubing underscore tubing, no spaces. And we specify the salmon range. It would go from salmon one, the top of the well, to salmon number 148. A salmon type of zero. A pipe OD of 0 0.0889, a pipe ID of 0 0.076, with the well with the pipe is located again in seven in pipe number one, and it's just two strings are parallel in a tubing side by side. The uh, last segment is open the floor. So we should check on that box and then we can uh, show a schematic of this well configuration. We can use this option, display pipe schematic to show the configuration of this pipe and it shows us there's a long tubing and this is short tubing and if this well is used for say so steam circulation typically we would inject down the long tubing steam and then the fluids will return back along the annulus and it will return back and flow up the short tubing and it's produced back up the short tubing this space here in the annulus of the casing there will be no flow of fluids and so in thermal valve simulator this program this will be a problem because it is it is a steady state flow program and we must have flow in the segments. So to stop the flow we need to plug in the the annular section up to the toe of the short tubing. So in this case the toe of the short tubing is in 765. We need to plug 765 down such that there's no flow returning up the casing annulus to the top of the well. So we have to stop flow from 1 to 65 for the outer pipe 1. So go back to outer pipe 1 and we now want to stop flow from uh, 765 to 1. So we need to have a line that says 765 to 65 a plug segment. So we need to have three lines, 1 to 64, 65 to 65, 66 to 72, that describes this situation. 
we need therefore to insert a few more lines of data so we'll go edit insert row edit insert row we have three lines and we we will uh, copy down the three lines of data and we go from 1 to 64 65 to 65 66 to 71 and this 65 to 65 would be a plug segment so we need to enter minus 1 for the plug segment so from 1 to one to 65 would be a no floor section and 66 to 151 would be the flooring section now if you try to go to a different pipe you see we have this warning that the pipe is that the line is plugged if it's no floor we have to initialize the, that section of pipe with initial fluid pressure and temperature and composition so in this case we have to specify initial pressures temperatures and composition so let's in this case fill this pipe section with gas we would um, enter say 110 ppa 15 degrees C and oil and water if it's zero and zero the default is gas 100% initial composition table one and we can fill down and then this would define the initial contents of this no floor section this plug section 1 to 65 with a gas that is at this pressure and temperature initially so if we now display a pipe schematic we can now see that there is a section of pipe that is being plugged off in here so now this is example of a, a parallel pipe system. If you want to look at an example with a concentric system where the, for example, the, the long tubing is inside the short tubing for the section of, for this section of pipe, and then the long tubing is inside the liner for the next section of pipe, then we would uh, have to uh, uh, change the data in, in, in this format. Let's assume, for example, that the uh, short tubing has larger diameter. It's a larger diameter and uh, the long tubing is inside the short tubing in this concentric design configuration. So if we uh, go to the short tubing and we enter the larger diameter of the short tubing, it will be 0.1778 and the ID would be 0.1639 this short tubing would still be inside the outer pipe 1 but now the long tubing must be inside 1 to 65 for the first section of pipe and then it will be inside the outer pipe 1 for the next section of pipe so we need two sections of pipe for long tubing we need to duplicate that and go from 1 to 65 using the same pipe diameter in this case and 165 would be in pipe number 2 and then from 66 to 148 would be inside pipe number 1 so if you look at the schematic you see that the long tubing is now inside pipe number 2 from 1 to 65 and then inside pipe number 1 for the rest of the long tubing pipe. This concludes this tutorial and there will be another tutorial describing the rest of the pipe data form.